My view rack is a 30 inch bust down. What's yours getting? It ain't no tutorial. You either got it or you don't. <laughs> and I happen to have it. Oh my God. We're here to be a bad bitch. We are not here to cry right now, okay? my channel this is be the beat if you didn't already know and if you didn't already know that means you're new here and I just want to say welcome welcome on in to the blind party okay if you are not new here welcome back friend I'm glad to see you glad you came back glad you sticking around and if you're new here welcome to the family girl okay anyway y'all I am so excited right now like I don't even think y'all understand like if you can't read it off of my face, then that just means you're new here. But y'all, let me just say this. Before we get into the real tea and why we're really here, let me just say that I'm just so glad that I cut this camera on tonight. Like, y'all, I have been going through a rough time lately, internally. And... I have not been giving myself and pouring myself into my work, into this work. Um, and it feels so good to have these lights shining on me tonight and to have this camera in my face. Like when I immediately turn the camera on and look in this viewfinder, like I literally want to cry right now. Like I immediately feel better. Like I immediately feel like I'm home right now. Like I'm not going to cry. I'm not gonna cry because that's not why we're here. That's not why we're here. We're here to be a bad bitch. We are not here to cry right now, okay? So I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Anyway, back to the regularly scheduled program. Today, we are getting into this hair, baby. Um, I am about to dye my hair. As you can see, it's already blonde, and I'm sorry that I didn't like film the from black to blonde process this time this particular time when i went back blonde it was just not the time to film had a lot going on just had to get my hair bleached like whatever so i couldn't film it but um now it is time for a retouch like you see all this black coming through let me turn around so you can see um it's very much time for a retouch i'm gonna go ahead and film it for you guys because so many people ask about it so i get so many dms on instagram matter of fact follow me on instagram while you're at it but i get so many dms on instagram i get so many comments about my hair like my bleaching videos are still like my top viewed videos to this day you know what i'm saying to this day. so <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and film a little update for y'all and yeah let's get into it we're gonna use a good old faithful mixing bowl you can get you can use a plastic bowl you can use a real mixing bowl whatever you like girl and we're gonna use a like bleaching brush um a hairbrush whatever and yeah and then the bleach that i decided to use i like this brand right here is called blonde me and it's by this brand right here i don't know how to say this word but it's by these people okay um i saw this brand of bleach on i saw this brand of bleach on jonathan's instagram um y'all know jonathan that does like you know all the girls hair in atlanta um i saw him using this bleach on his hair and it bleached really quickly and it was like little to no toning according to the video it looked like so i was like let me try this um and then this is the developer that goes with it the blonde me now these products are products that you have to get from a professional um hair store so like cosmoprof is where i got mine from um so you do have to be a licensed professional to have access to these or either have access to a licensed professional that's willing to buy them for you so i digress though teach his own but anyway um 
so let's get into it i also have some vaseline close by just to like base my perimeter i don't usually do this to be completely honest with you because i like to live life on the edge but i'm gonna do it tonight just to for educational purposes but let me just say this give y'all this disclaimer it's like i give y'all in every blonde video i am not a licensed professional i don't mind if my hair ends up in the sink or the toilet so if I burn my hair out, I'm not going to be like crying tears because I've cut my hair bald before. But if you are not okay with that possibility, seek a professional. Go book a professional. Do not try this at home, kids, if you're not about this life. So I'm going to leave it at that. Don't be going to the hair salon after the fact telling me, well, B2B said, B2B did it. Nah, don't do that. Do this at your own will, at your own discretion. Um yeah okay so let's get started <laughs> um i'm going to just oh, girl how you gonna get started you ain't got no mirror you can't see that good in this viewfinder hold on oh oh i gotta base my edges see i'm all over the place y'all i'm just excited so i put this like on my skin it um you know protects you from burns or whatever from the chemicals but i don't like to actually put it like in my hair because like i don't know if it keeps the bleach from really taking on the edges you know like I don't want it to slow the process down on my edges if that makes sense but I definitely like to coat this on my ears because that's a dangerous place in my neck because the bleach is gonna get everywhere like I hate to break it to you toots like it just be getting everywhere it be globbing all right skin protectant is what it say on the container period let's protect that skin girl speaking of skin if y'all are like og subscribers like peek my skin because she's coming a long way like i happened to be reviewing some footage the other day on my computer because i was trying to delete some files and I saw a video, it was like a Fenty skin video or something. And oh my god, like my skin was so blotchy. Like my dark spots were awful. Like they were st they were standing out so hard. Like I looked like a leopard. And like I still low-key look like a leopard, but like it's coming a long way, if that makes sense. Like it's not as dark as it used to be. So just take note because your girl's coming a long way and she's gonna be clean, clear skin under control very soon, okay? But anyway, um, so I'm just gonna take the bleach here and child like I open it. These nails. Child, having long nails is a blessing and a curse because life of bad bitch, but at the same time you gotta be creative with how you do certain things so you uh, can't stop me so i'm going to i'm going to start with how many scoops i'm gonna do i'm gonna do two scoops and it comes this particular brand comes with this little scooper this bleach actually smells really good like this is the first bleach that i've had that smells really good um i'll show y'all this in a minute but it really smells good <laughs> <laughs> which I don't need to be sniffing it because it's a freaking chemical but they did a good job on like not making the scent just like overbearing and uncomfortable <laughs> so this is like almost two scoops pretty much two scoops and then I'm gonna the, the developer y'all you really just gotta eyeball it okay like there may be measurements on the container but baby this is like cooking we just gone you know what i'm saying like just get it in there yeah we're gonna get that in there and then we're going to mix it give it a little mix room and see what the consistency is like when you're mixing your bleach you don't want it to be super runny like I do not like no super runny bleach because then it's gonna be running all over your neck. But you can't get it too chunky either. Like it's gotta be kind of like pancake batter, like thicker pancake batter. I'm gonna show y'all in a second. Like I'm whipping up the babies. 
<laughs> is that what is is that does that make sense i don't even know anyway girl you do not do that illegal stuff girl you do not know and really i really wish i had gloves because i wouldn't even fool with this brush since my hair is like i'm really trying to get the roots i would just like if i had gloves i would just rub it in my hair like shampoo to be honest so this is the consistency and this is pretty good i can maybe stand a little more developer just see how it's like kind of getting off the spoon but not just like running like water i always like to start with applying it to the edges because i feel like my edges take longer to process and we just gonna slap it on there girl like don't be scared with it what you gonna be scared for you here now you done bought the bleach you done mixed it up like you done put all this vaseline on your head what you gonna be scared for now so put it put it on there get it good coat it follow your hairline i have a pretty boxy hairline i got a hairline like a dude so mine gonna look like i got an edge up when i'm done um but yeah i there's no rhyme or reason to how i put this on i just glob it on if this is like your first time bleaching like your hair is going from black or like a natural brown or whatever to blonde then you really just slapping it on there because you gotta coat all your hair but for me since i really need to get my roots real good i have to kind of just like go in with it to make sure that my roots are coated as well because it's kind of hard to get through the tips to the roots if that makes sense but I probably should go a little more developer because it's pretty thick it's running out quick but see the developer is thick too it's a cream they're all liquid developers but I really like this brand I'll never go back unless I just can't get my hands on this at the time and I need to touch it bad but that ain't gonna happen because I'm always have this on deck but there are other bleaches out there, like if you're not a licensed professional or don't have access to a professional cosmetology store or cosmetic store or whatever. Um, there are other brands out there that I have used in the past and I'll link those videos below or above, whichever. Um, because I haven't always used this brand. This brand is fairly new to me, honestly. Um, I've definitely only started using this in 2022. So before I've used like Claro, Quick Blue, um, what is it? B2, B2 bleach, something like that. That big white bucket that everybody get from Sally's. <laughs> of course, I've used that before. Like that's like an OG. Quick Blue is an OG. So Kaleidoscope, I believe, has bleach. So there are other brands out there that you can get at Sally's. Oh, see, it's dripping on my neck. My neck, my back. So you definitely gotta get that kitchen, okay? My edges take the longest to process for whatever reason, like they be they be at a little You see how like it's still real black right there? Like it's kinda hard to get through to my roots. But I'm gonna get there. Let me turn around so y'all can see because I sure can't. Alright, so this is pretty much the gist of it, but I am going to take it to the bathroom so I can look in the mirror and like really make sure I'm coating the back really well and I'll be back. Alright y'all, so I have checked the back and everything is coated the best of, the best that I can right now. Um, a lot of times the first round may not be perfect because you can't really tell what really hit and what didn't. So I'm going to let this sit for an hour, maybe like... Since I'm just doing roots, I probably won't let it sit for a full hour. If I was doing like from black to blonde, I would definitely let it sit for an hour. But if I let it sit that long, my tips, like my ends of my hair are going to be super over processed. So I maybe I'm going to let it sit for like 
30 to 45 minutes depending on what it's looking like I'm gonna check it around that time and if it's still too brown or brassy then I'm gonna let it sit a little longer so between 30 minutes to an hour depending on you know how it goes I'm gonna let it sit and I'll check back in with y'all but yeah this is what it's looking like it's coated all the way around can y'all see and so, yeah, I'm going to be looking like this for a little bit. I'm just going to sit here and catch up on a show on the iPad while I wait. Because I'm going to listen on my bed. I'm going to on my bed. On my bed. So, yeah, I'll check back in with y'all in a YouTube second. But a real life hour. Okay, bye. Okay, y'all. So, it's been on basically an hour. And look at how puffy it looks. It looks ridiculous. But I kind of took the brush and moved around. It looks like it got my roots pretty good as far as I can tell. But what we're going to do next <laughs> shout out to Sharon Lights. Shout out to Claire our Professionals for sending your girl a care package, okay? Um, it did get a little messy in transit, but they sent me over their um their Plex line. So they sent me the Plex treatment. So I'm gonna apply this after I rinse out the bleach, and then the next step is to tone my hair so then I'm going to use the platinum ice toner with um, the Clairol 10 volume developer um, when you're doing toning you want to use a super lightweight developer so I'm only using 10 volume and this is the platinum ice color so we're going to see how that tones out today um, and then I'm going to shampoo and condition with the Shimmer Lights shampoo and conditioner. This is like my trusty handy dandy shampoo when it comes to my platinum hair. So thanks Clairol for sending me these products. I'm so excited to try this treatment. Um, I've never done a treatment on my blonde hair to be honest. Like I haven't really taken the time to actually treat my platinum hair. So I'm excited to try this and let y'all know what I think about it. And I also have never tried this toner. So we're gonna see what it's giving, okay? Come on with it Clairol. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out, apply the treatment, and I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all, so this is after round one and the treatment, which it looks really good wet. But I will say, the wet hair will fool you because when this dries down, it's going to look pretty yellow. I don't even know if y'all can see. I'm going to try to zoom in when I'm editing. But, like, my roots are still really, really yellow. So, let me see. Let y'all see the back. Like, the back is still really, really yellow. And there's also a really yellow spot right here. Like, I didn't get this spot good. So, I'm going to do another round of bleach. Um, <laughs> but this time, it's only, I'm only going to keep it on for a little bit. Just to kind of get some of that yellowness out again. And really to lift it a little more. Because I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you, when it dries and it's laying down, the roots are gonna be more prominent. Now it's wet and it's standing up so you can see my really white ends. But when it's laying down and it's laid, you're gonna see the roots more. So it's gonna be super yellow. So I'm just gonna do one more round, really quickly make for about 20, 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna come back and show y'all the toner. All right y'all, so this is after round two. And as you can see from the previous clip, your girl's hair is snowy white a lot closer to snowy white than before this little patch right here is still very much dark yellow and i don't know what's up with that little section but we're just gonna bypass it um but pretty much honestly i don't even have to tone it at the point it's at now um this is toning is completely optional i haven't even put any shampoo in my head yet i haven't even toned it with the shampoo by itself truly and honestly this will tone it but since they sent me this toner, I'm just curious to see what it's going to look like. So, it's Platinum Ice. And, let's see, directions mix one part Shimmer Lights toner with two parts developer. So, one to two ratio. Um, I'm just curious to see what it's going to look like. Maybe it'll look like, achieve like a really kind of like icy gray. But when you're toning your hair, especially when you've already lifted it to this bright, um... You have to be really careful on how long you keep it on because baby when i tell you it tones really quickly like and i am just eyeballing it i like i kind of smell something that kind of smell like fruity stuff i don't know it kind of smells good 
but I just put this much maybe I would say like a half dollar amount <laughs> and then two parts of the developer so I'm just gonna try and make the the, the plots match Ooh, this is a lot more liquidy so it's kind of hard to tell we just eyeball it over here baby I don't use no measuring spoons just go with what feels right to our soul okay <laughs> I wasn't tripping it smells really good like I want to sniff it it smells really good <laughs> I feel like I just want a little bit more of this in here. Just a smidge. There we go. That smells really good. Oh my god. But this is, a toner is basically like depositing color back on top of your stripped hair, I believe. Like, don't take my word for that. But <laughs> it's going to give it a little color. Like, it's going to tone out any brassiness. And it also can change the colors of your hair. Like, this is platinum ice so it's gonna give me like a great fit so I'm excited a little nervous because toning is always tricky because you can never tell if you got it on for too long so let's put it on and toner is a lot more liquidy so you gotta like just I mean, drip it on <laughs> see gel it just be flying it be flying I've never used this toner before, so I don't know like if it's gonna start turning purple or if it's gonna start turning gray. Like I'm just not sure what it's gonna start looking like. But with toner, you have to move really quickly, which I'm probably not even moving quick enough. Like you gotta move really quick so it tones evenly, so you don't have like patches of different colors because it it just works really quickly. I'm just trying to make sure I get my roots too, so I'm going in all different directions. Really need to concentrate on that yellow spot in here. I don't know what's up with it. It's starting to turn, like it's starting to show a little like purplish pink in the corners. I don't even know if y'all can if it's picking it up on camera, but it's starting to tone already. I'm really excited to see what this color is gonna turn out to be because this looks really cute on the pack. Platinum Ice, baby, that explains exactly what I'm always going for when it comes to my blonde. I'm going for Platinum Ice. Like, I want my hair to be Platinum Icy. And just so y'all know, Clairol is definitely a product that anyone can buy. Like, you can get this in the store, in Sally's, and you're probably in your local beauty supply store. So you don't have to worry about having a license to go into any store and purchase this. So I'll definitely be sure to leave like a list of these products below. But this is the color that's on the package. So I'm pretty excited about it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to wash my hair and condition my hair with the Shimmer Lights shampoo and conditioner. Um... I've actually never used the conditioner before, so I'm excited to try that. And I don't think it's a leave-in. I think you wash it out. Um, I know my mom has used this in the past. My mom has gray hair, so I know, she's like, that's how I know about shimmer lights, like my mom. Look, it's turning colors. Like, it's, I don't think it's picking up on camera. I'm not sure. But I'm going to let this cook for a few minutes, and then I'm going to shampoo and condition and show y'all where we at, okay? I absolutely love the color. Like, Clairol you did your thing baby because this toner is everything it gave me the perfect icy color so now i'm going to style it and wrap it up and i'm just going to apply a little bit of eco gel this is the one i have on hand it's i don't really i'm not really partial to whichever scent or whatever whatever flavor <laughs> but i'm just going to apply a little bit of that um especially to my edges because they seem to be the most unruly and really need more reinforcing than the rest. But, um, yeah. These edges lay for y'all. You know what I'm saying? My hair is not quite long enough to do finger waves <laughs> at this time. So, it's really just going to be more of like a free flowing situation. But I did find a little baby cone so I can. Oh, snip! 
Is the finger wave coming big, baby? It's really not long enough, but we can do a little something. We're gonna do more of a soup de whoop instead of a finger wave. But I just like to kind of get my part established and then go from there. Oh my god. She's looking good, y'all. She's looking good. Help this little section because she don't know which way to go. Okay. See a little sneaky move. It's not a finger wave, but it's a little something, something, you know. And really, y'all, it ain't no tutorial. You either got it or you don't. <laughs> and I happen to have it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh, y'all. I'm crazy. Yes, damn. Yeah, my hand cramping up, I'm waving so hard, okay? Yeah, baby. I'm gonna be that bitch in the room, do you hear me? I might mean, feel like it's my first day of school tomorrow. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> baby. Okay, let me, let me go ahead and pick this. They on do rig on so it can set, but this is you know this gives y'all a good idea of where we're headed in the morning, okay? Because baby, she's getting okay. Welcome home, girl. Welcome home. So I'm gonna put my do rig on and I'm gonna see y'all when it's all done. When it's all said and done. Cause just remember the Lord got the last say. The Lord got the final say. And the Lord say. Let her be that girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the key is a good do-rag, y'all. Don't play when it comes to your do-rag. My and the, the gag is, I can't even tell y'all where to get this do-rag because this was my brother's do-rag and he had like several of them and he let me have one so I don't even know where this came from but it's the best do-rag I ever had to be honest the material the length of the tail I mean this do-rag is for the elite right here because if your do-rag don't got inches baby what do you got you know what I'm saying like my do-rag got inches fit this is a <laughs> My do rag is a 30 inch bust down. What's yours getting? Okay. It's all in the tail. Category bad bitch up bar. Alien superstar. I'm too pussy for this world. I don't think I'm that girl. I'm a little bit of baby. And I'll be back when I'm transformed. Hey y'all, so <laughs> it's time, it's time to drop the completed look because I know y'all been waiting all the video. If y'all skimmed to this part, you cheated, you were supposed to watch the whole video. But anyway, are y'all ready for the big reveal? Because let me just tell you, the hair is slapping. Is that what the kids say? It's slapping? It's, what do they say? It's jamming? Like, I don't know. Anyway, um, let me just go ahead and just, let me just go ahead. Let me just go ahead and take my inches off so y'all can really see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Dang, can I find the string? Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready to rumble? Are you ready to rumble? What was that? 
Because baby. What was it? Like, I look so good. I had to go ahead and beat my face for y'all. And don't worry, I did film this look. Film this completed makeup look. It was a little chit chat talk through. So, <clears throat> y'all gonna check that out. I don't know which video will go up first. So, if this is up first, just wait on it. And if that's up first, go check it out. Um, if you missed it, but look at the hair. I did a little swoop de whoop, a little wavy wave. And it's giving what the girls needed to give. And let me, let's, let me show y'all the back. <clears throat> Like, is it giving? I know it's giving. <laughs> so, yes, the hair is laid. I absolutely love it. Completely am impressed with the clear all toner absolutely loved it i absolutely love it like i definitely feel like that girl again period i was always that girl but now i really really feel like that girl um what was said so <laughs> thank you all so much for watching if you are new here don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go i know you love it here and if you are not new here Thank you for coming back to see us, friend. We're glad to have you as always. And I just want to say, I'll see y'all in the next video. Be to live. <laughs> Get into it. It's even Alien Superstar. 